A spaceship more than 3,000 years old found in Turkey? Did the gods come down to Earth? Another, yet another artifact, looking like the Mayan astronauts, but this time found in Turkey? It's certainly one of the most puzzling objects ever discovered by archaeologists. It was found in Turkey in 1973 in a town called Tushpa, and today's Toprakale is a representation of a spacecraft over 3,000 years old. According to Zachariah Sitchin's book, The Earth Chronicle Expeditions, he says the item is a sculpture that visually looks like a spaceship measuring 23 centimeters long, 9.5 centimeters high, 8 centimeters wide. That's about approximately 5.7 by 3.8 by 3.5 inches. The mysterious stone artifact is a key element in the ancient astronaut theory, and many people believe it is the ultimate physical proof that beings from space came to Earth in the distant past. Is it possible that this mysterious puzzling and disturbing to some artifact is a representation of an object that appeared in the sky above the kingdom of Eurasia? Details for this item? On it sits a man or an alien with his legs pointed towards his chest. He wears a ribbed accessory. It's a uniform that covers the body completely. On the feet he wears boots. The outfit that completely covers the man has uh, arms. And on his head he appears to be wearing gloves as well. Uh, the flexible suit encloses the entire body up to the pilot's neck. And we can see that the pilot's head is missing. And the question about the puzzle, or puzzling object is, what was the pilot? Was he a human or was he an alien? The uh, missile object was found in the Kingdom of Warta, which was located in the eastern region of Anatolia, near the border with Iran, opposite Cyprus. Asia Minor, also known as Anatolia, was part of Greater Greece, so this item is related to the ancient Greeks. A brief historical overview of the area, from the 9th to 6th century, hence in the long succession of migrations, Ion and that's BC, of course, Ionians, Aeolians, and Dorians reached the shores of Asia Minor. The development of this civilization is considered by several historians to be the first chapter in the development of Western civilization, mainly because of the philosophical thought it produced. In this period, the first square coins from election were minted, in Lydia about seventh, uh, the 7th uh, century BC, and probably as a result of the natives' trade with the Greeks, while the Lydian kings, uh, according to Herodotus, began to be interested in the Oracle of Delphi and to send gifts to that temple. Now, about the middle of the 6th century, about uh, the Lydian king Croesus, 548 to 546 BC, managed to spread his hegemony over the wide region, who was soon expelled by the Persian Cyrus, uh, who turned the whole region into a province of the Persian administrative system. In those years, the ambitions of the great king Darius I and his successor Xerxes I brought the Greek city-states into conflict with the Persian Empire. That's about 400 BC, uh, 500 BC. The Persian defeat caused successive social changes that prepared the way for Alexander the Great and the total conquest of the Persian Empire by the Greeks. A difficult and turbulent period followed during the Hellenistic period, during which the Seleucids' successors of Alexander the Great claimed Asia Minor, resulting in the creation of a new kingdom, new kingdoms of Pontus, Bithynia, Cappadocia, Pergamon, and Sicilia, as well as the Celtic Kingdom of Gaul, 280 BC. And note this because the Celts are directly related to the ancient Greeks. The annihilation of Persia, the Persian ambition by the emperor Heraclitus 610-641 BC, merely shifted the danger in time. Uh, not BC, that's AD. The Arabs and their successors, the Turks, persisted claiming Anatolia and eventually succeeded. The Arab invasion 672 to 717 were repelled by Constantinople and the region remained a subject under Byzantine rule, although the Christian state of Armenia suffered from successive disasters. The ancient Greeks divided Asia Minor into 15 countries, of whose name they mostly received from their resident people, 
And as you can see, the invasion of Greece and Europe began from there, verifying other historical facts. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.